YouTube, Spalding here. Just driving to work and I wanted to do a quick vlog here to announce my new website. I still have a lot of content to add to it, but uh, that'll come. You can sign up there for email alerts. So you don't have to rely on YouTube for your notifications and I'll have other content on there too, other than just videos. It'll be fun. Check it out, make sure you sign up. Click on the Help Spalding page and you'll find all my social media links. You can follow me there as well. You'll be able to find not only my most recent content, you'll be able to find older content from the past. I'm going to try and get some of my older videos and things that never made it on YouTube uh, up on there. Check them out. It'll have content on there for all my YouTube channels. Uh, for the FJ that I'm driving now, my kids YouTube channel where they do a lot of gaming, indoor gaming, outdoor gaming, electronic gaming. All kinds of different kinds of gaming, all kinds of games you can play, all kinds of fun stuff. So the big question I'm having right now though is I've got five YouTube channels that I am involved with or that I own and I'm thinking should I keep all five or should I try and reduce it down to like three? I'm thinking three is probably the minimum I could go. My own channel, my kids channel, and the Trails Off Road channel. I've also got my boring technical videos channel. I don't know if that would fit well on my main channel. If that's, I don't know, would that bug you guys if I did that? Or is it better to keep those separate? And then of course I've got my my main channel that's basically tied to my main account. That I don't think I can get rid of it, but you know, do I put videos on there? Do I care about it? Do I pay attention to it all? To forget about it, ignore it. I don't know. What do you think? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. So, for those of you who don't know who I am, I've been using Spalda online since I was in high school. This was uh, mid 90s, before the internet was big. How would I use it online before the internet was even around? So you had these things called dial up bulletin board systems. So, you would dial into a another computer using what's called a modem, uh, which stands for modulator, demodulator. It would take a digital signal, convert it into an analog signal, send it out over a phone line, and the computer on the other end would take that analog signal, convert it into a digital signal. Those things were always fun. Unpredictable sometimes because of, you know, phone line conditions and sun flares and stuff, you know. And I ran a bulletin board system for a while. It was called the Rotus Foundation. I-10 West at noon 101, event traffic today, fun. After high school, I should have probably stuck with college and done computer programming or something. But instead, I had a job at America Online, and I was actually on the internet, because that didn't last forever. Then I got into a real IT job instead of just a phone support job, and actually got to do some real system administration kind of stuff. You know, I was one of the early YouTube users. I did put some videos up way back then, but they were all taken down. And I actually explained this in another video I did about drag racing, because I was, that was one of the first things I did that I was doing cool videos. And then I got married and had some kids and lived in Texas for a while. Texas weather sucks. They say that everything's bigger in Texas. They mean it. That includes the weather. The weather is bigger. The raindrops are bigger. The hail storms are bigger. The wind is bigger. The lightning is bigger. The humidity is bigger. The cold is bigger. The hot is bigger. It's all bigger. They do have some big mountains, but about the only thing in Texas that's not bigger is the mountains. One of the things I enjoy is going in the mountains with my FJ. Of course, right now, what I'm really trying to do with my FJ is get it built up so that it's um, a little more bolt proof, a little stronger. I'm trying to reinforce the weak points, I'm trying to replace some of the wear items. The thing's 10 years old, right? Almost 11 years old. And I really want it to last another 10, 11 years and even beyond. So that's kind of my focus right now. I've already spent a bunch of money on replacing things that have failed, like alternators and, and water pumps and 
uh, seals and things like that. For the most part, it's been a very good, reliable vehicle. And it should uh, continue to be as long as I, you know, do a few things to take care of it. You should have some fun adventures with it. If you want to help out, you want to see these adventures and stuff, go to my website, spaldom.com. Click on the Help Spaldom link. You'll get some ideas, lots of ideas. You know, there's stuff you can do that's free for you, helps me out. Stuff you can do that if, you know, you're buying something anyway, you can help me out. You can help contribute to my equipment. You know, either buy something for me, send me something. I have a P.O. box you can actually ship stuff to, even though it's a P.O. box. You know, send me whatever, as long as it's not freight. Freight's probably not something you want to send to the P.O. box. That probably wouldn't work too well. And I'm almost to work, so I'll speak at you later. Why else would you go on an adventure other than to have fun? And on the webpage, you'll be able to find not only my rope post, the Oh, I'm just hanging up your bed. I don't want to work every day. Oh. Where you would dial into.